starting off the vlog with me. Stop. That's the cat right there. And then I'm going to be starting off the vlog with me cooking some beef flavored ramen noodles on a sterno stove. And it's cooking right now because, and I got my spoon, because I just did the intro and everything. And this is my sixth vlog, I'm pretty sure, or seventh. Can't remember, but yeah. And I am just waiting for it to cook and see you when it's boiling. Guys, now there's bubbles coming up and. I'm gonna fill it and see if it's almost done. So I just got some more news and it's almost done. So see you when I got it all stirred up. Okay guys, so do you see how it's not mixed? Well look at it, it's mixed. How does it do that? I don't know guys, but now I'm gonna try them and see how it tastes. Really good. I love the bra. I just want to tell you a story now, guys. So I was at my aunt's house with my cousin, and uh, we were, were crazy kids. I got the bride deal, deal like, do you have on the coffee pot? There's a uh, thing on the bottom to keep the coffee hot. Well, I'm like, huh, let's put some tin full. No, I was just like, I just put some butter on there and cook an egg. And I did. That egg was pretty nasty, but I ate it. Okay, guys. So. See you when it's done. Got it down to all the noodles I can eat. Now I'm just going to drink the broth. If you guys don't drink the broth, you should try it one day. Because I love it. So, let's do a taste test, even though I know what it is. So, first initial thought is that it tastes like boy on cube. Chicken and beef pretty much taste the same thing, but if you have ever, I don't know how that just happened, but if you've ever had shrimp flavored ramen, don't get it, it's bland. But, broth might be my favorite part about ramen noodles. Just because it's so tasty, but I want to see you at my next adventure, so get back to you when it is totally finished. So, got it done now. I just gotta clean it, so get back to you when it's finished. I think it's so crazy how on camera it looks like uh, everything goes by so fast, but it's actually kind of difficult. Could you pause the video, go do something, come back, click it on again? And then it just seems like a second when you're watching it. But when you're actually doing it, it's hard work. That's part of being a YouTuber. Now I'm just getting the stuff together. And the cool thing about the sterno thing is that you just put the lid back on it. And make sure it's on like good like it's not now. Make sure it's on good though. I'm just going to step on it. So you hear that click? It's on now. By the way, if you can see that. Yeah, see like, there's no edges up or anything. And look, I think this is the coolest thing ever. Fits right inside. And then, you can just, oh shoot, put the lid on. And I've actually found out that you can actually fit a pack of ramen noodles in there. Like, you take them out of the bag that they're already in and put them in a different bag, and it actually works. So, Sorry about the tilt the camera, but I was not watching. So, see when I got the stuff picked up. Now I just gotta take it inside and put it up. So sorry about the truck, but see you then. So my Nana, she still hasn't brought back my skateboard, so I still have to have my scooter everywhere. 
But one thing I don't like about riding a scooter is that you don't have two hands free like if I'm riding a skateboard or my skateboard. So, it's really getting to me, but I love doing it anyway, so see you in my next adventure. So now I'm just riding my scooter like I do every day. I'm trying to use my selfie stick. I have it the other way, not facing me. And tell me if it's steady or not. I'm trying to make it as steady as possible. But see you when I get back home. So just made it home. And now I'm just going to film more of my life. And I'm going to charge my phone for a little bit. And you guys wonder why there ain't a wee video thing on the corner up there. It's because I have quit using it. It's not because the company or anything, it's just because I think it's a lot easier just to do it because my phone's really sucky. I'm planning on trying to get a new one, but my parents said no. It was like a $150 phone, but I was going to get it for five bucks. But it had to come with a plan, so I'm videotaping this phone still, but that's perfectly fine with me as long as I can make videos for content for you. So. I am going to show more of my adventure in three seconds. Three, two. In school, guys, I'm learning how to weave. So I just made a loom with some paracord. And I started weaving, but I ran out of paracord. So get back to you when I get more paracord. I do. I got really nothing to do. And the sun just went away. I was planning on like doing just honeymoon. That's my idea. I changed my idea. I was thinking about like videotaping the sunset, but if I get on the roof, then I can get a better view. It'll be easier for me to video that sunset. But look, this is my old tree house. So it's just a pallet with some wood.